Howdy folks, Hillbilly here, out on another adventure for the weekend. It's actually the weekend of my birthday, so happy birthday to me, we're out celebrating. But uh, right now, standing at the southern terminus of the Tuscarora Trail here in Shenandoah National Park. Uh, this weekend, OSHA, uh, Jay and I are going to hike the first uh, 23 or so miles of the Tuscarora Trail, Blue Blaze Trail, that uh, leads west off of the AT here in Shenandoah. And uh, we'll be taking it uh, through the Shenandoah Valley and over to Massanutten Mountain. Uh, we'll do about 14 or so miles today to the Little Crease Shelter. And uh, about uh, 8 or 9 tomorrow back to Jay's truck. But uh, it'll be a pretty chilly weekend this weekend. Had a nice cold front moving through. I think right now it's in the, the upper 20s. Up here at uh, right around 3,000 feet, 3,400 I think. Uh, it's going to get warmer as the day goes on. I think we'll end up in the 50s at some point today. But, but anyway, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny. It's supposed to be sunny all weekend. Uh, I'm glad to be out on another hike. And uh, we got some good uh, fall colors going on around us, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate y'all tagging along on another one with us here. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's get walking. Just getting down here to Overall Run Falls. Man, this is one heck of a spot. Let's check it out. There's Osha and Jay waiting for me. Nice. Tallest falls in Shenandoah National Park. These are 93 feet. And there's Massanut Mountain right over there that we're headed toward. Be hiking through the valley down there and, and up and over that first ridge. Man, what an awesome spot. Got some uh, wild grapes we found on the ground here. Eating some of these up. They're pretty good and sweet. There's literally no parking that you cannot not pay for. Officially leaving Shenandoah National Park. Leave no trace, a hole. Somebody decided to write that. Supposed to be like lunchtime. I just ate a Snickers, but I could eat more. Our little lunch break right there at the Park Boundary where we left Shenandoah National Park and are now on uh, some other land. I oh, had a nice sit down lunch. Ate for a little while. Uh, salmon, Snickers, some gummy bears. Some good stuff. But uh, we're just a shade over seven miles in for the day at this point. Uh, it's been a gorgeous day. It started out chilly up there at the ridge top, but uh, once we got moving and started going, we got pretty gone, pretty, pretty gone on nice. So enjoying that good sunshine. No real, no real wind to speak of. Um, probably in the upper 40s or so right now, if I had to guess. We're just about down to uh, about 340. Uh, so 
outside of Front Royal, Virginia here. We're gonna follow that road for just a little bit and then uh, I should be taking a couple other back roads along this trail as well before we get over to Madison Mountain. But anyway, yeah, still, still a beautiful day, still having a good time. Down the line. How long this may be? How long will I be blue? Oh, I've been down below the valleys and up and over hills, and I'm trying to find a way back to you. Alright folks, so we are just getting off the long, long road walk here in the middle of our day. Uh, I don't even know how many miles that was, but it was a lot of road walking. Kind of nice though, cutting through the valley here. Seeing a little bit of the, the rural roads we wouldn't other, otherwise see. Now we're getting back into the woods. Trying to find where the next blaze is. Right there. Yep, we've got about two miles left to get to the little creek shelter. Um, definitely mostly uphill from here to there, but we're starting to climb up the ridge of Massanutten from here. Yep, not much, not much farther to go, but glad to be off the, the roads for the rest of the hike. Anyway, I don't know anything about this trail. Looking back across the Shenandoah Valley there, back at uh, Shenandoah National Park. We started on that ridge back there somewhere. And uh, walked across this valley down below on all those roads. Rivers down there somewhere. I think you see part of it right there. Anyway, we're almost at the top of this climb. This has been a pretty darn good climb. Coming up this old Morgan's Road up to... Veach Gap on Massanutten here. It's been a pretty steady, steady climb. I don't think this camera can really show the grade, but yeah, I've been coming up this pretty steep pitch for quite a little ways. It's almost done now. We're about to reach the uh, crest of the gap, as you can kind of tell by the terrain around me here. The crest of the gap is right in there. But uh, yeah, anyway, not too much farther. Folks, so here we are at camp. We're pitched out be, uh, behind the uh, little crease shelter back here. It's actually a pretty good group of hikers all camping out down there. So we're up here tented out and ready to hang out for the night. I'm going to get this fire going here in a minute. Got here at, uh, I don't know, probably an hour ago or so. Hanging out for a little bit, gathering some wood. 
and probably go down there and eat with the, the group down there here in a little bit maybe. So hang out with them. Oh, she's got some nice root coming. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Nice. Anyway, here we are, a little crease shelter in the Mass Nutton Mountains. Just laying down for the evening here. It's starting to get uh, a little cold and a little dark. It's about 8 o'clock or so. Still kind of early, but definitely dark. Well into the dark now. Uh, it's a pretty good day today. I'm a little tired now. It's starting to catch up to me a little bit. My legs are a little sore. Uh, I did a little over 14 miles today from the top of uh, Shenandoah National Park down to down through Shenandoah Valley and over here to uh, Massanutten. Uh, we got about eight miles tomorrow to get on out of here. Might be a little cold in the morning, but once we get moving, I'm sure it'll be good. And you're forecasting uh, upper 20s tonight, something like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, all in all, it's a pretty good day. It's gorgeous weather, sunshine. It's kind of cool to do a little bit of road walking, a little bit different than it's no green tunnel trail walking. Cool change of pace. Anyway, folks, I'm calling it uh, calling it a night here. So, we get some good rest, stay warm, and see you in the morning. Good morning, folks. Day number two. Just leaving the uh, little crease shelter here. Uh, off of the Massanutten and Tuscarora trails. I uh, had a fairly good fairly good sleep last night. There was a group of folks down there at the shelter being a little rowdy for most of the night, but it wasn't too awful. But uh, yeah, we're heading out this morning. It's probably about 8 o'clock or so. Stayed good and warm last night in the quilt. I think it got into the 20s last night. A good uh, 10 degree quilt kept me warm. But uh, we got about eight miles to do today. Get back to Jay's truck. Blow down here. Uh, yeah, about eight miles to get to Jay's truck. Then we got to drive back to Shenandoah to get back to my car. Uh, today we're following the Tuscarora and Massanutten trails. They kind of join forces for a few miles here. But. Uh, yeah, I don't think I really talked much about the Tuscarora Trail. It's a Blue Blaze Trail, an official Blue Blaze Trail of the AT. It's about 250 miles long. It goes from the AT here in Shenandoah. It does kind of a horseshoe shape up to the AT up in Pennsylvania. But so, uh, yeah, we're doing the first couple sections of it. About 23, 24 miles, something like that. We got a couple of structures here. But anyway, it's a nice brisk morning. Shouldn't uh, shouldn't take long to warm up though. So we're getting ready to start a climb. But anyway, that's it. We're gonna take off walking, warm up a little bit, and uh, we'll see you up the trail.
still walking along this ridge on the eastern side of the Massanutten Mountain. It's a beautiful day. You get up on the ridge tops there, it gets a little windy and a little chilly, but you drop just a few feet off the ridge like we are now and then uh, face the blocks all the way in. It feels quite nice. Uh, we're probably, uh, I don't know, maybe four or five miles into the hike, probably about five miles into the day, which leaves us with about three left to do, roughly. Just uh, cruising along. I'll be dropping down off the mountain here before too long, heading straight down to the vehicle. Uh, we leave the ridge here. Basically drop straight down. But anyway, still cruising along, still a beautiful day. This is the old furnace ruins, Elizabeth furnace. Mm -hmm. Thirty-three feet. Thirty-three feet. That's a lot of feet. Even more toes. Yeah, boy, that's a hell of a lot of toes. Pretty cool. Get down here to the end of the line. Walking over to cross over this bridge. Get over Passage Creek. And then Jay's truck is right up the creek here on the other side. Basically done, just another like tenth of a mile right over here. It's a nice area. A lot of places to just pull off and have picnics and take a break. Nice creek here. But uh, man, it's been an awesome hike. Beautiful weather once again. A little chilly last night, but stayed warm. Yeah, so I've been wanting to check out this Massanutten and Tuscarora Trail area for a while. So we did the first 22 or 23 or whatever miles of the Tuscarora Trail. From uh, the Appalachian Trail of Matthew's Arm down here to Elizabeth Furnace in Massanutten. Anyway, hopefully we'll be heading back out in a couple more weeks to uh, get into something else. Not sure exactly what, we'll figure that out. But I appreciate y'all tagging along and we'll see you on the next one. Adventures. <laughs>